So in this problem, it's not in standard form. So we're going to have to distribute here. So we'll have x squared plus 2x minus 5 equals 0. Now it's in standard form. Okay, so a is going to be the 1 there. This will be b. This will be c. And now here comes the formula. Oops. So the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And so what is b? b is 2. So it's going to be the opposite of 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c. Now make sure you make that a negative 5 because it's got to be a negative 5. It's going to make a big difference if we don't do that. All over 2 times 1. Okay, so keep going. I'll go over here. Negative 2 plus or minus. You'll probably just have to find the way you want to write it out that works best for you. 2 squared is 4. It's going to be plus 20. It's really important that that's a plus. It makes all the difference in our answers. Okay, so we keep going. Negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 24 over 2. And then negative 2 plus or minus. Oops, plus or minus. Now, 24 breaks into 4 times 6. So I can take the square root of 4 all over 2. And now you can probably see there's a factor of 2 in the numerator. And so those 2's cancel. And so our answers are going to be negative 1 minus the square root of 6 and negative 1 plus the square root of 6. And so we don't have imaginary solutions this time. They're just uh, real numbers, but they're irrational because of the square root of 6. Okay, there you go.